Sony has made it abundantly clear that they only seek to further their investments into their own company, while Nintendo and Microsoft have been extending an olive branch to each other and letting developers take the lead on crossplay between their platforms. Crossplay has become an increasingly important feature for the gaming industry. Players don't want to be limited to just their console loyalties. We've seen a few examples of games breaking this mold, such as Rocket League, Fortnite, and Minecraft, and the demand for other games to have crossplay is only getting bigger. Sony, however, doesn't believe this to be all that important, as they have shown that they aren't interested in playing with others. Now, I understand from a business standpoint why Sony would do this. Currently, they have the biggest player base for this iteration of consoles and are doing extremely well with the PS4. Sony wants to further their profits by essentially saying, if you want to play with people on PlayStation, then get a PlayStation. That does make sense in the regard that you will lose profits on games that could be bought on PlayStation if they're being purchased elsewhere, but Sony needs to realize that the focus on games as a service and less on one and done type games has pushed demand for player bases to interact cross platform. This has many benefits and could be hugely profitable if done correctly. People being able to play games with friends on other platforms, obviously, but certain online games that don't have a huge player base active being merged with other servers would breathe life into a lot of games that don't have that much traffic to them. But Sony having this standoffish stance towards it is only creating unneeded animosity towards the company. We saw this years ago with the reveal of the Xbox One with all the anti-consumer features it was supposed to have. All that backlash led to Xbox having to change fundamentally, and in my opinion, was what led to Sony having such great success with the PS4. Xbox is about to become the next water cooler. Sports. Television. 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 TV. Sports. 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 Now the tables have turned, and it's Sony in this position of being anti-consumer. The fear of profit loss makes sense, but it shouldn't be a huge concern as Sony has continually shown that their first party lineup is strong enough to push console sales, and with Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, and Death Stranding all due to release just on the PS4, it's not like they have a shortage on exclusives. We've seen big names in the industry, like Todd Howard, say that it's purely Sony's decision that's holding back crossplay. And with more and more people speaking out against Sony, the possibility of crossplay is going to be a big issue for them, especially going into the next life cycle of consoles. With the whole not allowing Minecraft crossplay because they wanted to keep players safe and locking out Epic accounts if they were linked to your PS4 debacles, they really can't stand to continue holding this anti consumer stance. If it keeps up, we'll undoubtedly see a lot more distaste towards Sony in the coming future. Crossplay is a big concern for a lot of people because not everyone is going to have the same consoles or want the same consoles, but that shouldn't limit players from being able to play with their friends even if crossplay is just available for a few games. But that's going to do it for this video guys. Let me know down below what you think and what games you guys would like to see be cross-platform. I know for me personally, I'm looking forward to Fallout 76, so hopefully that'll be cross-platform. I'd really like to be able to play on PC and with people on PS4. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this kind of content and want to see more content from me. Leave a like only if you like, dislike if you only dislike. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.